big highlight for the team the first couple games was being able to react to adversity. Uh, what did you feel like was different this time around that you maybe guys did what you wanted? Well, it was just simple. You know, we got to clean up little stuff. Uh, we got to stop the penalties. And we got to stop beating ourselves and give ourselves a chance to win. That's just the biggest part. This was a big game. It's been billed it, national television, 21 sc uh, scouts uh, from the NFL attendance and all. And yet the team just melted under pressure. You've got Ohio State coming up, and three out of your next five are ranked opponents. What's it going to take for uh, you and the defense and Maryland as a whole to get things back on track in order to start reeling off some wins against ranked opponents? Uh, well, I feel like I just got to place the standard that we set as a team at the beginning of the season. Get back to playing like that. Uh, and then obviously limit the penalties and the turnovers. Stop beating ourselves. And then uh, to the execution, you know. So. There was a play early in the game where you looked like you almost stole the ball from the receiver, almost a clean steal. How close were you to picking that pass off? Uh, it was actually uh, really close, but you know, close doesn't really count. You know, I should have picked it, but, uh, you know, I'll probably just try to get it next time. Hey, Tony, um, could you just describe how different the atmosphere felt kind of in those opening minutes of the first quarter to midway through the second quarter? Could you notice a difference among your teammates? Uh, well, guys, uh, well, you know, guys, uh, I don't think they really – they really changed uh, atmosphere-wise. I feel like they were more determined actually trying to make plays. They just weren't trying to show emotion. That's the biggest thing. They didn't want to show emotion in those type of moments because then you let emotion get the best of you. So I feel like guys were just trying to stay locked in and trying their best to focus on what they had to do. So it wasn't really an uh, atmosphere change. It was just the guys trying to dial in and uh, lock in on the game. Darby, it's kind of a back here. It's kind of a follow-up on that last one. Uh, you know, in the first quarter with you guys up 7-3, and it, it almost – you know, it seemed like you guys were making a statement uh, against number five Iowa. Obviously, a very different story the rest of the game. Through the rest of the season, as you guys obviously want to make a run and get to a bowl game later in the year, maybe do more than that. Uh, how do you make sure that you guys kind of have that feel into the first quarter and, and look more like that team than, than the team from the rest of the year? Well, it's just playing the standard that we set, obviously. I'm uh, just going to keep saying that because we know how to be where we play uh, to our standard. You know, we we'll play as a team, limit the mistakes, limit the penalties. We're a really good football team, so that's just what we try to do. So that's what we're going to try to get, uh, get back on track for next week. Their quarterback, uh, Spencer Peters, was able to make some pretty good throws this season. What was the biggest challenge in trying to contain him, and what do you feel he was able to take advantage of tonight? Um, well, uh, he's a good quarterback, good player. They made some good passes. Uh, the receivers caught some good passes. So it's just contesting catches, that's all, being close to the routes. Anything else? Thank you.